In today's video, we're going to take a look at the new Quick Options bar that was introduced in ARCHICAD 20. This is an alternative method of getting to attributes and settings that were previously available in the Quick Options palette in previous versions of ARCHICAD. If you don't see the Quick Options bar on screen, chances are it's simply hidden in the work environment. To check that, all you need to do is go to the Window menu, and there's only two options that this would say. In this case, it says hide quick options bar because it's already visible. But if it's not visible, this would then change and say show quick options bar. So as the name suggests, quick options allows us to quickly change the options. So that could be scale. It could be layer combination. Let's just randomly pick something. So we've changed what's visible certainly there. We could change the model display by doing things like turning off finishes. We could change the pens that are in use. We can change the model view options. We can change the graphic overrides. And there's a couple of others to change the renovation status, or the renovation filter, and also the dimension preferences that are in use. Those are not visible on here just now because we're running at a reduced resolution for the sake of the recording. If I was to switch off the organizer, we can see these additional options become available down at the bottom of the screen here. I'll switch the organizer back on. The other thing you will see is if we switch to a different type of view, in this case 3D, then the options appear slightly differently because things like the zoom and the rotation, those no longer apply to this type of view. If I go to layout, again, there are slightly different options available or not available in here. Coming back to the plan though, I want to look at the best feature that's actually available in this quick options bar. And that's simply the shortcut for each one of these settings or attributes that allows us to go to the full dialog behind the tool to change the settings. So what I mean is, if we come down here, this allows to change layer combination, but the button to the left of there allows me to quickly go to the layer settings. If I come out of there, if I want to look at the pens and colors, we can click this little button and we're looking at the pens and the color settings. And the same applies to all of these. So if I want to look at graphic overrides, straight into the settings without having to worry about going through various different pull down menus to find them. So Quick Options truly does live up to its name and is a very useful toolbar to make use of.